What the hell? What's up, you beautiful people? Stone and the lady here. Hello. And we're in the sinking city. What's going on? Apparently this is like a Cthulhu or Elder God-esque game. With horror elements. I mean, anything that comes to Cthulhu is going to be horror. Because you're dealing with insanity. And trauma. Lots of messed up stuff. We look at all that. People's faces are melted. That's cute. I think we play as Sherlock Holmes, but I'm not completely sure. We're a detective, at least I know that. Got some scars on his eyes. What the frick? What the frick? Well. Oh, okay, is it just that's just like a weird time lapse? This is a, like at first it's like this is good storytelling, but at the same time they're trying to make us feel uneasy. So like, what the? Is that the boy? No, that's not the boy. This is like a squid thing. What boy? Cthulhu. The boy. I thought that was just like if that was Cthulhu, that would have been like just his chin. Wait, is there, are we like underwater and there's a city on, what the frick? And then of course you just get into the Sarlacc pit and you start all over again? What the hell? <laughs> nice. And we get to play now? Yep. Okay. I got a whole bunch of stuff. What the frick? I never, this is a big ass backpack, so what are, what are Never we doing? Trust a tourist advertisement. Okay. Don't trust. What are we just going around, picking up and holding everything? Oh, a gun. Hey, it's got a thing. Oh, how do have I? Have to use it. But something tells me I will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This voice actor too. Anytime it gives you a gun, you know you're gonna be using it. What are it. we? How do I? It says I have an option to scroll, but I can't scroll. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and. Visions in the city of Oakmont, Massachusetts. It turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drowned to are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment. And the person you might uh help you wait, and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes Vanderberg. That's a name. Vanderberg. Hello. Let me in here. Well, that was real quick. What the? Am I supposed to hold it? Okay, there we go. That was odd. Everything else I've just clicked on. Did you see that you have a case book? Yeah, but we don't need that yet. I don't even know. What is that? Is that just supposed to be a Kraken? How do I? Okay, okay, that was loud. <laughs> you can get a Tommy gun. I have whatever this is, a camera, a first aid kit, and a brick to throw at somebody? Is that what that is? Can I take a picture of this? I guess so. I think that, I think I did it. Now we leave. Oh, hello, there's actually people here. I'm being greeted. This is very nice. Hello, who are you? Now get out. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I can't. How do you jump? I it can't says jump. Why to climb? Oh, there we go. Press it. Hold At last, it. Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you, uh, Johannes Vanderberg. You're the guy. Your I just service. read your letter. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, what a nice much dude. Oblige, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Most important? Why is that about my bra? What's the deal with this city? Reaching Oakmont is no easy task. Their eyes are Most weird. Maps I found yeah, his are like bloodshot as hell. This packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position 
And the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. <laughs> the flood? flood? It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, <laughs> you know? Wow, well, no, I see you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Uh, where is Robert? Find Mr. Throgmorton. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Oh, sorry. Uh, I need somewhere to I stay. Need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What does that mean about you too? Is that foreshadowing how I get to Devil's Reef? That's the best way to get around Oakmont. I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you were too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. Mark the hotel and a few other key places. Okay. What else did you mark on the maps? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand. So you better know where to turn in search of a lead. I like that. What do you do here? Mr. Vanderberg. I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without fame, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Goodbye. That's it for now, I think. I never talked about his suit. When you get my bearings. Mm, didn't no, let me. No. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds beauty. Ominous, but cool. Are they praying to the sea? That's what I saw too. Hello? What goes on there? Okay. So, what is octopus entrails? It's nice to just have this all. Laying out all this uh, garbage. Well, they were having flooding. Mr. Homeless Man. Another guy praying without a shirt on. He gonna catch cold. Okay, so we gotta go to the hotel first. Another place. Is this the guy that stands out? Excuses. What the? No one leaves the port. This guy looks like a monkey. Found, and that is final. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Damn. Go away. What happened Charles to him? Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Oh, this game is so much better. I think this guy is the same voice as Madara. Oh, this is so cool. What happened to your son? I ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? It's one of the villains in uh, Naruto. Oh, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, 
the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my Ooh. words. Is the Innsmith in this? I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. That's cool as hell. Oh, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just refugees. <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. <laughs> okay. What do you know about the visions? I speak to you about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you? Uh -oh. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes. Let's talk about your dreams. Uh, your features are unusual. I can try to find Mr. Albert. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Yeah. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. What does Vera mean? Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Uh, tell me more about the case. You know more about what happened. You don't want to know about his features? Did no, I feel like that'll upset. I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. <laughs> I would if you'd stop talking to me. Fine. I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton. It's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Damn, Mr. Monkey Man's pissed. Hello? Flashlight? What's all this going on here? Fish? Oh, it smells terrible in here. And you're going to have a nice duvet on this table <laughs> that you're going to cut fish on? What the? At least, at least something looks a little bit nice. Like a hole in the wall? Am I supposed to break something? What's up here? Whoa, hello, misters. Is this guy going crazy too? I don't know if I should talk to them yet. I'm looking for choo clues choo. first. Choo choo. What? Choo oh yeah. Choo. No 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 uh -oh. choo choo. I want to see what's in there. Alcohol. I could throw that at people and then light them on fire. That's nice. What's over here? Hole in the floor. Don't want to fall to that. Five cards short of a full house. Dang. That stinks. Man. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Mm, yes. Think they're somewhat civilized. Oh, that's nice. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. What the hell happened? Whoa, what is this? Um, are we going crazy? There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. They definitely jumped out of the window. Is that Robert, maybe? Should we follow the clues or talk to these people? 
talk. I'm following the clues. You want to talk to them? Yeah, you get more Let's see what you find, newcomer. Oh, this is a little bit of something. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Police? I've already told them everything. That's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? I want answers. Tell me what I happened. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. Is that Paul or Lewis on the floor? We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on... I don't know any of these people. Quit throwing names at me. Carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds, and okay, my head began to burst, and he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, yeah. a voice that called me. Uh, he okay. called you, eh? Uh? That sounds familiar. Tell me Who are you? Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fellow Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. You live with an Innsmouth? I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. That'll start. Where are the others? Where are all the other guys. Uh, Who's that guy on the floor? There on the floor. Okay, that's Paul. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. I'm starting to suspect the worst. Uh, who is Kay? Who is this Kay you keep mentioning? Outside of show some respect. Kay is our lord, our life, okay. our love. That's Sorry. what I thought, but you can't ask questions? Damn. What happened to Paul? I don't know how Paul died. I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Hey, have mercy on his soul. Okay. I've got to go. To it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Can't make that conclusion. And the police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Right. I feel that, buddy. Okay, new mind palace clue, but first I'm following these footsteps. But wait, can I take a picture of this? I did anyway, even if I There's don't a fierce need fight it. Here. Someone tried okay. to flee. Can I fall out? I can. Is there fall damage? There is. And did I break that a little bit? Or was that already kind of broken? Let's see. I don't see any more blood. Unless it went off in this direction. It is very muddy and very wet. Can I not see anything? Maybe I just got to play around with some clues. Oh, is this a room? What is it here? Oh, there's a sneaky mechanic? Oh boy. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Oh, frick. Damp and damaged is not well cared for. <laughs> right? What the hell, people? Let's see what this thing. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. That means he loves his pooch. He loves books and a good pooch. Me too. Okay, we didn't check this room. Hello, real mind's eye. Press to activate. Okay. Cool. We're learning. What goes on in here? What am I supposed to see? With my mind's eye. I don't see nothing with my mind's eye except for like this part of the room gets weird. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Oh, it's a nip. Oh, it's got eyes on it. Never but seen that. eyes like this before. Masterful work. Yeah. Crazy. Um, 
Oh, yeah, that's how we do that. John has heard the reports that he has found the source of my man. Wait. What's happening? Did you hear that? The whispers? I've been hearing them. What the heck? You're only just now hearing them? Yeah. When you went into so mine's eye, I could hear it. Mouther looks like. Okay, Mr. Inns Mouthers. They don't look as bad as I hoped oh. they would. What the hell is that? Somebody opening their butt crack face? I still don't... So is there like a stamina bar of how long I can keep this... Wait, how did I even... Okay, I don't want to shovel. Okay. What? Yes, of course. Craziness. What is this? Can I open it? I can't open it. Can I... What if I do... No. How did I do that again? Oh, there we go. Can I see anything on this in this vision? No. If I put that down. Wait, what the frick? Is that the weird gibberish she was speaking? Yeah, that's like Cthulhu's language. Re retrocognition? Allows you to understand events that happened in the past, inspect enough evidence in the scene, and a vision will emerge, step into it, and find all the critical scenes. Oh, pretty sick. So wait, whoa, everything's all warpy. Hello? I'm in it now. Um, Take this, ape face. Holy shot, ape face? Okay. So he got, that guy got shot. Who left the, the room? Did somebody jump yeah, up and end up? They run. did! They broke out. Whoa, what the hell? He tried to climb on a bookcase? Is there anything else? Oh, there's something over here. Oh, it was in this room. Right behind us. We're gonna see the guy on the bed. Oh, yeah, he was freaking out. What's happening? Okay. Is that Will? Let's see what we have here. Dang. Can I do this? Wait, one. Oh, I'm gonna mark them as in the order. What? So one, two, Happening. Take this, three. Ape face. Yeah, run! When Albert okay. Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Nice. Mine palace. What about this one? Oh, Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I could track them using my supernatural sense. Nice. Uh, the supernatural scent? You mean like, whatever? This supernatural sense? Can There's I? There's a fierce fight here. Yeah, I know that. Tried to flee. Okay. You got like hands all over you? Creepsy. Okay, yeah. we're outside now. Hello. You're pointing? Why are you pointing? And why is this so slow? Hello. Hello there. Are you okay? We're going this direction. Very slowly. I can't run. There's a freaking thing right here. What is this all about? Oh, it's it's a holdy. A holdy? Metal scraps, thank you. Why oh, is this so dark? What is all this then? Is that like a cat? It's a bullet. Okay. Thanks for the bullet. Yes. Bowing. Yeah. Do I have to get out of this? And then check it now? Is there something on this side? So oh. the fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Where did they get a gun? New mine palace stuff. This one? Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. Okie dokie, no more clues. What the hell is that? That ain't no rat! What the hell? <laughs> Disgusting. Okay, now what do we know? This way? Letter from J. Vertebird. I don't need to know that. How do I get rid of that? I like that. Okay. So it looks like we're still going. Am I still going the right way, or did I pass it? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Is he in this room? Did he hide in a bucket? 
There's a what is this? Oh, there's a hand, a bloody handprint. Managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Right, 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 jaw. This vision, though. There's the hashtag on the door. Oh, he's pointing to it. Or an H, whatever it's supposed to be. Hash. H is for hashtag. Can I? Okay, I could do flashlight whilst I'm doing this. What is in here? Some more of that stuff. Why are you underground? Oh, hello. He's like, I need to get out of this for a second. It's bothering my vision. Hello. Oh, there's a bet. A bloody. Someone there's just ripped off somebody else's pocket? What is this all about? Bloodstained note. Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port, but don't worry. I struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week, and I'll return everything with double interest. PETA. PETA. PETA looks like he didn't fresh. care. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Oh, that's a lot of blood right there. Hello. I don't need it. Oh, padlocks? Uh, and weak planks can be broken with a shot or melee attack. I'll try to melee. Whoa! Hello. Uh, what is this? What the frick is that? You might have to shoot it. Um, no. Get out of here. You picked up a gun, you know. Frick. Yeah, but I don't want to waste my bullets. What is that? A bunch of hands. <laughs> bunch of One hands. Don't touch forehead. me. <gasps> yep, you look That's like no that accident. guy's son. This was deliberate. I don't know. Do it. I don't know if I should tell him. He's gonna be so pissed. Yeah, key evidence. What the hell's happening now? Oh, yep. Thing just fell into the floor. Attractive. Now what's over here? That is a tiny whale. It's another thing. Another dead body? Okay. Whatever. I'm getting out of here. Exit under the keel bar. Just follow the signs. Bar. This is right there. Bar under the keel. Is that the keel? Is that where the term keel hall comes from? What well, keel hall is? Yeah. Under the keel. Hello, friendo. Yeah. Miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. And underwater. I like your voice there, friend. That's a weird voice to the face, though. Doesn't hey, match. Hello. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? Information. That's what I want. I need to find Lewis Flynn. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chances here? Yeah. Even if I knew. I don't rat to newcomers. But you'd rat to, if you know me, let's get to know each other. Uh, I want him gone. I can help. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throg. Yeah. Son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Rock. That they struck true. me and they're throwing all these words and every time I ask it somebody gets mad at me mess, you can have him so he's upstairs here's the key you got to promise to deal with him once and for all but save the shooting for outside huh smart man that's what I got a shovel for Here's your good deed for the day um I've seen some unsettling creatures around nah Bye. goodbye we got business to take care of you're not gonna fi figure out what's going down in the city. I was just talking about monster, or like the weird rat things, like I saw earlier. Yeah, you're not gonna figure out what's going on in the city. Not yet. We got business hey, to you? take care of. Whoa. What are you doing? Okay. Charles Reed, private. Now that's what I was expecting. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throg. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Okay. I don't know how- You killed Albert, why? I can't just excuse the man. Why do you look like- That's rude, too. Okay, how did Start it all happen? Again. What happened? We... 
We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Married, going to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listen to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Frog Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Okay, you killed Albert. Why? Shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. He pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after was that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspect it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Damn, your actions look deliberate. Why do your people hate the Throgmortons? Yeah. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Mm, why do you hate I each other? There's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs, always setting people against us I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered damn vengeance you mentioned a grand family what do you mean hmm. so you're a newcomer huh so well, yeah you haven't seen me before have you a newcomer with a gun answer the question okay people here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation the head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. Uh, I've heard enough. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. How do I know you're not lying to me? I'll think about it. I'll let him sweat. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. <laughs> I'll just it take turns him. out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started, and my lips are sealed. I knew you'd understand. Here you are, Mr. Reed. Don't you go betraying you. him. I don't know. I don't want to get people killed, but I also don't know if he's lying to me. I don't know if he has a family and all that crap, or he's trying we to just save his own skin. We saw a picture of him with, with, uh... Oh yeah, in the Maybe. house with yeah. somebody. Okay, I guess I could believe. It. That's why you're here, so I don't kill people by accident. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Do I have to pick one of these to believe in? Yeah, he wasn't. He was mentally affected and couldn't. This one. Because we've seen it with our own eyes. Lewis was under mental influence. Lewis killed Albert Thorpe Mountain. While under some sort of mental influence, he couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover for him or else Robert Thorg Martin will have his head. So now I just got to go tell the guy? Whoa, that is a cool skull. Some sort of crocodile. Okay, Madra. I've found the murder. I've seen some strange creatures Mr. around. Now, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some... Unusual creatures, and they 
sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've only took two whacks of my shovel. But we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I like that firsthand. Or Try shovel fire. With them when possible. And when you can't keep your weapons handy. Uh, if I say this, what'll happen? If I give the dude up? Mr. Throgmorton. Sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? Uh, the murderer is dead. The murderer is at the bar. The murderer is dead! I tracked the murderer down. Fisherman Lewis, he was covered in your son's blood. Wait, so I told them who did it? Attracted the beast. Are you well, if they run into each other later, beyond any doubt, all that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. You must ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, but the wild beast has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Thank you, Mr. Throg Morton. I hate to press you, but do you think you could feel help bad me about him thinking me? Yes. You've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't. But I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? My crazy ass visions, insanity. Source of my vision. I, I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things, visions, and I made it to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. They're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through a vault after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible what? why a geological expedition a geological expedition i'm not sure i follow i have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source as above so below so i sent men to find out any link between the visions and hysteria these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well since the flood many oakmont has had similar nightmares Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, Professor Doe? Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture, a sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calling from the depths. No words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. You think the flood is unnatural? Flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. We weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? scientific explanation any discovery so far found anything I do not know Albert is Albert was part of it his passing cannot be coincidence why was he alone at the port and where are the others the murderer and the expedition are linked think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something is it so hard to believe The only one I could trust comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Yes, I am intrigued. Uh, to talk more about the expedition? If I'm going to look into this. I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. I love That's keys. All you can tell me. Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry.
sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Noise, we get to go to a expenses. mansion later? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Noise, more and more bullets. The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood. Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Okay, wow, that's a lot of stuff I got. Knowledge points? What of them? So do you have to go tell in uh in Lewis? about um telling him that he was dead to Frogmoin so they don't come across each other? That's what I'm worried about. Because if you let him know, then he'll know to be careful. Right? I think he should already know to lay low, but... I didn't think my guy was going to give his name away. Sheesh! Doesn't Kasula uh, thrive on chaos or something? Ooh. Insanity and hysteria. So that's probably why Lewis killed his son, because then if we had told the truth, it would have caused chaos. Yeah, it would have caused like, more death than creating yeah. this going on. And then we would have been playing right into the Cthulhu's hands. That's what he wants. We gotta stop people from killing each other. I also like that the first thing my guy wanted to do was go to the hotel and we do we solve the whole murder case first? Hotel. Oh, okay. What's going on here then? Hey. Okay. Um. Oh, we're getting all shifty again. We're walking and we fell. That's talent. No! Not America. Oh. It's called Kick the Can. Oh. We're asleep. Oh. We got knocked out. We're asleep again. Goodbye. Oh, someone's giving us the almighty suck. Oh, it's back in the Sarlacc pit thing. Why does it want to eat us? Oh, I guess we're just at the hotel already? That's crazy. That's like a drunken night when you don't know how you got to bed and then you just wake up. Daywear costume unlock. Can I do it like this? Oh, damn. Look at all this drip we got. Daywear. What? What? Oh, God. Please don't. <laughs> Octopus head. Dude, this is fancy. I'm wearing this one. I am a dapper boy. And it's purple. It's my favorite. Let's go. Give me all this crap. Give me all that. When it's unlocked, please do not Those wear that never octopus. Again, they say. Never again. You don't like the octopus? Uh-uh. Doctor, or dear Mr. Reed, I understand you are the private eye that caught the murderer in the port. My life is in danger, and I cannot trust anyone in this city. Please come to my room, which is just opposite yours. I am in despair. My studies have drawn the attention of vile forces. They stalk me and will take me soon. I have cast my lot and am beyond saving. But the seven books must be saved at any cost. Even if I'm gone, find my notes there. This knowledge must not be lost, as it could be our kind's last hope for enlightenment. Please be the bearer of this light, for I have failed. What the hell? What is even your name, friend? Oh, gosh, shitty, gosh, gosh, gosh. Why does it still want me to pick this up? Can I look at something on the back here? All that we see or seem... What? All that we see or seem... Is just a dream within a dream. Is this supposed to be an N? This, this is throwing me off. What was this one? I can't read upside down, mister. Okay, wait, maybe I can. Charles W. Or, yeah, Charles W. Reed. I guess that's just mine. My thing? What's in our bathroom? Oh, no, you need to clean up, mister. The guy. Oh, we got another note. Mr. Reed, it seems like that you are overexert. Ha wait. Freaking, I can't read. <laughs> it seems that you overexerted yourself while conducting the in investigation for Mr. Throgmorton. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please take more care of yourself in the future. I don't, uh, I won't be there for you every time. Oh, it's our boy Johannes or Johannes. 
I like that guy. Thank you. A crumpled letter. Mr. Reed, you are the rare example of a man who treated one of my f uh, kind uh, humanly. And I feel I have to repay the debt to you. Take this as a friendly piece of advice. Run. Save your life and leave this Drock city to the depths. Don't dig into its secrets, for they are not worth it. There's nothing good left here. I believe you can find a way to escape. Please heed my words. Lewis Flint. Oh, it's the boy we saved. Thank you for the letter. But I'm not going anywhere. Jesus Jesus Christ. I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops. Only remember the screams and the metal creaking water filling the deck. And my headache, the worst I've ever had. I found myself among the floating seaweed drowning. A nearby piece of a boat helped me survive. Just like at the end of the Titanic. And reached the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half mad, and babbling about the ancient ruins of their denizens. The officials said none of what I thought I'd seen was real. But my memories are true. My strange powers gained after that ordeal prove it. I found something horrible on the island, something old and dark and slithering, and it still haunts me. You could have scrolled. I don't think I could have. Sometimes it says to scroll, but then there's like, there's nothing really to scroll. Did you try? The Cyclops. No. Exactly. Semper Fortis brothers. Those are all your brothers we saw in the beginning with their faces melting? Not nice. What's all this then? No matter how much of this I chug down. Tincture the of op return. You're doing opium? Oh no, you're addicted. Opium's bad for you. There's no room across the way. How do I know which room is the room of the guy that wants my help? Can I just open any door? No, okay, so I'm guessing it's this one. Hello, friend. Oh, that's nice. All these things on the floor. It's like a demon seal or something. It gets trapped into it if they try to walk towards your bed. You got one on this chair, too, just in case. A hidden book. It took a lot of effort to track down this book after seeing stolen or being stolen from the Throgmorton's Museum. It was brought by a local surgeon who was found dead in his house after the flood. I snuck in and checked out his pl uh, place, but in vain. Still, there's somewhere uh, else the tome may be. The private hospital in Western Reed Heights, where the surgeon worked, has been abandoned. The archives say it is on Bourbon Road between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. Okay, so we're going to get some books then? I don't know what good that is, but... I also think... That building the church was his redemption. Day after day, he worked without payment, carrying me and putting them in the most soil of Salvation Harbor. At night, when he returned to his house behind the church, he could not sleep. The book has ancestors brought across the ocean called. When the church was built, the priest found him hanged on the bell ropes. But the book is still waiting for someone to come and read it. His house is in Central Salvation Harbor on the old church road between Seven Oak Street and... Windham, Windheim Street still has a bad fame and no one wants to live there even after the flood. Yeah, it won't scroll. No scroll. That day. one won't, but you didn't try the diary. It looked like there might have been more. This is just all about all, where to find all the books. The local legends may be more than mere suspicion or superstition. A dozen witches were hanged on a huge apple tree that still grows near the uh, cider mill. Among those documents is a confession or one of the witches said the devil himself granted them a book with words of power. This book hides itself from mortal eyes, waiting for the witches to be reborn and return to claim it. Are they talking about the Necronomicon? That'd be cool. The witch who wrote this confession lived in Eastern Reed Heights, somewhere north of the intersection of Communion Road and Museum Avenue. Could the book still be hidden there? I don't know. The fishermen talk of a place near the Blackwood Manor on the southern part of Whisper Street where meetings occur in the dead of night. The locals don't like this part of eastern Grim Haven Bay because they seem to fear those who gather near the half-built ships. They say a certain book is read at these meetings, a cursed tome that makes people so crave the sea's touch that they go and drown in the ocean. The one reading the book stands on a cursed boat that sinks in the fog. Those who saw it touch the shore have either gone mad or disappeared. I board up the windows and lock the door. They are just men, the Yellow King's gang. They can't get here now. Now there's only me. Me and these nightmares. A little longer and I'll figure them out. Oh, a little bit more reading to do. Talking with locals is never easy, but this old chap has one of the 
queerest, queerest yet. He was happy to talk about the book, but only laughed when I proposed to buy it. I left it in the most guarded place of the city and paid enough to keep it there until the world ends. And if it is abandoned after the flood, even better. Ignorance is the best guardian. I'm guessing he meant the abandoned bank building in Northern Advent on Forefathers Street between Keylog Street and Wind Half Avenue. Last, it would be too dangerous to go there by myself. Local women, wait, do they all just say tome in the ruins or different things? Local women were talking about a ruined house in central Co uh, Coverside near the radio tower at the crossing of Landing Avenue and Kingsport Street. They said the ghost of the house owner and his family still read the unholy book they kept. Several newcomers who tried to settle in these ruins have gone mad. Mad, I tell you, mad. Mad just like me reading all this Jesus stuff. Jesus Christ, the yeah, whole, so many of them. The wheel told. I had a dream so real it still makes my hand shake. A huge Ferris wheel rose amidst the city. People got on and rode it higher and higher before jumping off at its peak. As the pile of corpses grew bigger, the crowd pushed me to the wheel and then I saw a man with a leather bag. He was standing in the center of the wheel and reading from a book. His awful dirge was making the wheel rotate and dragging the crowd to their slaughter. Could this vision be real? I know there is a Ferris wheel at the park in Western Old Grove near Century Ave in Beacon Street, but where could the book be? So Did I'm guessing we just read wheel? like seven different things for the seven different books that the guy was talking about. I want to find all these books. That's, good. That's a lot of roaming around though, but we're going to do it regardless. I want to know all the little secrets and details and lore and all the cool things, but I think we have had enough for today. Or I'm gonna leave it off right here. I can't. I wish I could sit down though and be all stoic about it. Can I even look at my own guy's face? Yeah, here we are. Whoa, there's one on the ceiling too. Okay, well, I do hope you enjoyed. I know we sure did. And if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you, and have a great one. Bye bye. Hi.